So in this video, we're going to see how we can use the Redux Dev Tools to inspect and analyze the state and actions of a Redux store in real time. So here we have one simple counter. So we can increment the count, we can decrement the count, and also we can reset the count. Now to properly analyze and inspect, we can use the Redux Dev Tools, which is a very powerful debugging tool. So first of all, we have to go to the Chrome Web Store and from here we have to install the Redux Dev Tools. And then we can see this Redux logo right here in the extension of the browser. So once done with that, then we have to go to the GitHub page. So this is the official GitHub page of the Redux Dev Tools. And here we have the instruction how we can use the Dev Tools properly. To use the Dev Tools, we have to install the package from the npm so we're gonna use npm install so in the command prompt we have to use the command to install the redux dev tools so once done with the installation you can see in the package.json here we have the redux dev tools dependency so that means the packages are installed properly now after that you can see to use the dev tools we have to import compose with dev tools from the Redux Dev Tools extension. So here we have to import compose with Dev Tools from the Redux Dev Tools slash extension. And then while creating the store, as a second argument, we have to use the compose with Dev Tools. So here, as a second argument, we have to use the compose with Dev Tools. So here we can use the apply middleware and we can pass all of the middlewares in our application like an example we can pass the thunk middleware so we have to import the thunk from the redux thunk so now our react application is successfully connected and you can see the redux step tools icon in the browser is now activated so we can click on that so here we have the redux step tools and also we can open this from the developer menu so here we have one dedicated redux tab and from here we can manage all of the state and everything so let's now try to understand the features of these dev tools so first of all this icon indicate that the dev tools is connected to the react application that means any action we dispatch will be tracked by this developer tool along with the timestamp and here we have the lock changes if we click on that now all the changes are locked so none of the buttons are working now so after that we have the reset button so this will reset the state back to the initial state so if we click on that you can see the count is zero and the application state is back to the initial state and also we have the revert button this will roll back to the last committed state and also we can click on this sweep to remove all the currently disabled actions and also we have this commit button so whenever we dispatch some action all of them we can see in the log section so here we have the log along with the timestamp now in the right section you can see here we can see the action so the last action was reset so either we can see this in tree format we can see this in chart format and also we can see the action in raw format also similarly so here we can monitor all of the state of our application so currently we have only one state which is count and the value is zero now if we click on increment you can see the count value has been increased and also we can see this in different formats also now in the bottom you can see here we have the slider so we can use the slider and we can replay the accents to view the state transition over time so you can see we can rewind back to the initial state and also we can replay the actions that has been done over time so this will help the developer debug issues by analyzing the previous states so here we can hide the slider and we can show the slider also similarly also we can show the dispatcher so so here we can manually dispatch actions without any need of the ui element so here we can dispatch the action reset and if we click on dispatch you can see the count is resetted back to the initial count so we can dispatch any action we can dispatch the increment so the count is increased by one so with the help of this developer tool we can inspect the state of our application 
at any point in time live and also we can replay and travel through the actions to observe how the state and UI evolve and also we can manually dispatch the actions for testing purpose. So this Redux Dev tool is very highly recommended for developers working on Redux applications. This will significantly improve the debugging process and this will ensure that the correct behavior of the application is there during the development. So see you in the next one. Take care.